Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Before we get into anything, guess what today is? Bailey. Bailey, what is it? Bailey. Bailey, Bailey, Bailey. Are you one years old? Is it your birthday? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Bailey. Are you saying happy birthday to her? Happy birthday to you. Oh my goodness, Chubby Nuggets. You're She just went right through my legs. Happy birthday, mamas. Are you ready to celebrate today? <gasps> I can't believe you won. It's a mess in here. I'm gonna stand right in my doorway because good lighting. <laughs> Hopefully I have no lipstick on my teeth. That's been happening a lot lately. Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. So, the last video you saw, I got my second vaccine. Took off my self-tanner. Look at the band-aid mark. <laughs> so I got it on a Monday at 11.30 in the morning. That night, I started to feel really crappy. All night, I was tossing and turning. The next day, on a Tuesday, I woke up and my body was so sore and heavy. I had a really bad headache slash migraine and my body just felt like when your arm is sore from a shot but like it felt like it was through my whole body and that monday night i also had like chills but the next day i was just like hot cold hot cold and i just felt like so heavy so tired i took a nap which i never do i was yawning at my cycling class like i definitely felt a lot of symptoms i was hoping that i would be like totally fine because I have a strong immune system, but I don't think it had anything to do with it. I think I was just down for the count. I drank so much water, so much Gatorade. I had Tylenol. So that Tuesday, I laid in bed and starting at about maybe 2.30, 3 o'clock, I started to like slowly feel my body feel better. It was kind of a cool feeling like, because when I started to feel crappy, it was like a roller coaster, like going up, going up, going up. Okay, I feel really crappy. And then I felt my body hour by hour slowly feel better on Tuesday. It was crazy. So I stayed in bed all day Tuesday, let my body rest. And by the time I was like ready to go to sleep, I was like, okay, I think in the morning I'm going to feel like totally better. And so now it is Wednesday morning and I feel like a new woman. I like totally feel so normal this morning i went to cycling and i came back we recorded the podcast i got ready for the day i took a nice shower when you're sick in bed i wasn't like sick but like when you're not feeling well i guess i was sick i didn't have a fever i kept checking my temperature though um but when you're not feeling well and you get like that nice shower where you get to like wash your hair and you just feel so good it's the best feeling ever and that's what i got this morning after cycling and i'm just happy because i felt crappy for one day but i know a lot of people have like been not feeling well for a few days and i was like oh i hope i wake up tomorrow and feel really good because it's bailey's birthday i want to vlog and like things like that and i just feel so much better today i feel so good so it was so worth it i feel amazing and that's my update on that i was updating on instagram too so if you don't follow me there you would have um, you wouldn't have already known this, but if you do, all repetitive, sorry. So, since I was bedridden all day yesterday and the day before that, what would have happened that day? I was already feeling crappy from the shot, I guess. The day before that was Mother's Day, regardless. It has just gotten a disaster in here. So, we need to do that today, like a nice cleaning, organizing. There's just stuff everywhere. I wanted to celebrate Bailey's birthday. Zane is out right now. He just got his second vaccine, so he's probably going to be down for the count tonight. Um, hoping that he doesn't feel the way that I did, but assuming that it'll probably affect both of us the same because we have pretty similar immune systems. He doesn't really get sick that often either, but who knows? It affects everybody differently, so he just got his, so now we are both fully vaxxed. Very exciting. Why did I do that? I'm such a millennial. Or Gen Z. I always thought I was a millennial, but I guess I'm Gen Z. But yeah, we're both going to be fully vaccinated now. That's amazing. Very exciting stuff. So since Zayn might be down for the count tonight, he is just finishing up on a music deadline. So we kind of have to work around each other's schedules today. So I'm going to like do some montaging while he's producing music because he has to like do mix downs out loud. You have to like hear it on the speakers. He can't use headphones for that. So instead of cleaning now, we're going to open some stuff for Bailey's birthday because I want to celebrate with him. So he's about to be home soon. Uh, I got some stuff from Amazon. I got her some toys and some little things like that and we'll do a little birthday celebration And then after that we'll do some cleaning up so we can work with each other's schedules Zane and I so that's the plan for right now yesterday you guys I ate good I got an acai bowl Zane made me some lunch for dinner. He went and picked up I got beef nagamaki and a connie salad and some broccoli 
and I just had leftovers for lunch today. I had some broccoli and beef nagamaki. It was so good. And I had the last leftover s'mores cookie purposely because today I don't want to eat a bunch of like crappy stuff. I want to feel good and eat good. So I feel good that we got those cookies out of here. So with all that being said, am I splotchy on my cheek? I can never tell on camera versus in person. It always looks so different. Who cares? Okay, let's unbox some stuff for Bailey's birthday, shall we? I'm so excited. I guess I'll just acknowledge the mess now. This is Mother's Day mess, clutter, some dishes. It's only just like two, what? It's only just like two big bowls in a container, but mess on the counter, laundry has to be put away. Oh my God, I missed cardboard day today, you guys. I wanna see if I can take it to a recycling center around here. Hopefully I can because there's massive boxes in here. Zane has to do his laundry. Cat litter needs to be cleaned. The bathroom is a disaster. What else? Oh my God, it's just like one of those days. What a random Wednesday. We still have extra frames on the floor. This is the stuff we're about to open. Um, bedroom is an absolute disaster. Wow, we look horrible. I won't even go in the office, but Zane has been working. I've been in bed and just got away from us, so that is that. <laughs> oh wait, hold on. Outfit of the day in this mess. This did not come together, but it looks like it did, doesn't it? I'm very proud of this little combo right here. <laughs> This is like an acid wash oversized tee from Boohoo and I really love it. And I had on black biker shorts with it this morning. A, it's just not that warm outside. I'm like getting ahead of myself. Um, It's like 60, but the wind here just doesn't feel like it. So I wanted to put on leggings and black with like the gray acid wash. Like it goes, but it doesn't look like flowing and I found well I knew that I had them but I realized like oh my god this would look so good together these are dark gray leggings from Fabletics I love these they're like nice and thick and like fitting but they match perfectly with my little oversized tee I feel like it looks like a little comfy set that you'd get on Boohoo and then my white Amazon socks are my fave okay let's go this is gonna be a vlog of birthday celebrations and getting my ish together okay okay who's ready for some unboxings Bailey gonna be Benji and Bella's special day too because they don't understand that it's a birthday so she's gonna have to share some stuff all right I'm gonna start with this one because I can feel it and I know that it's like one of my favorite things that I got <laughs> are we ready for this oh my god I just realized that there's sauce from my lunch on the table ew that's gonna be sticky okay got that <laughs> ready 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 oh <laughs> You guys, this was a little set on Amazon. Everything I'm about to show you is from Amazon. I mean, I didn't get that much stuff, but it's a little bread roll, a croissant, a cinnamon roll, a piece of toast, a baguette, and a pretzel. Oh, and the pretzel's like bendy. No, it's not. I lied. Bailey, 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 look at this. Carb queen, am I right? You can't share this with DIY dad. Oh my God. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. <gasps> you want one? Wait, but like, will she like them? Is there like catnip in them? Oh, sorry. I don't care. I just wanted little bread toys sitting all over the floor. I think that's the best thing ever. <laughs> like you're just walking around and there's a baguette on the floor. <laughs> Come here. I show you. Ow, Bailey, your claws. Look at this. It's a piece of bread. Go get it. <laughs> <gasps> oh my God, it's in her mouth. It's, you guys, it's in her, it's in her. She has... This is, I think there's catnip in them. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> She's eating the baguette. She is eating the baguette. I gotta get my phone and take pictures. Here's a croissant. <laughs> no way. This could not have gone better. Oh my God. Bailey, check it out. Toast, a roll, a cinnamon bun, and a pretzel. <laughs> okay, I got some cute pictures. That's just the cutest thing I've ever seen. But there's more, Bailey. <laughs> Her and Benji love those. Great success. I believe that this one is their decor. Okay, so if you guys remember for, was it Benji and Bella's birthday? I think it was Benji's first birthday, actually, because I had to go all out. I got him a pretty similar set from Amazon. 
It's got like the banner. Yeah, this is like actually, I think the same thing. Hats, a banner, and some balloons. Got some paw print balloons, and the sign says, let's party. <laughs> and a happy birthday sign. So we'll put that together in a minute. And then lastly, I got two more things. This was a little add-on that I was like, maybe they'll like this. It's a little thing that I think sticks on the wall and it like spins and they can like scratch on it and bite on it. But you put like little catnip balls in it and it's like a little suction cup. I think they're gonna love this. They only have this really great color. <laughs> But I think it came on the floor too, and it like spins and stuff, and then you like scratch. And then I got them a new scratch post. This one's like extra tall, because Benji loves scratching on scratch posts, but they're too like small for him now. I think he'll like this one, even though it's Bailey's birthday, but oh no, he already smells the catnip in this. He's already smelling it. Not yet, bub. So this is just like a little cream one that's like extra tall. And I think they'll like it. And hopefully it'll stop them from scratching the furniture so much, right? I feel like I could put 500 of these around and you'll still scratch the furniture. This one's cute too. It's got a little ball on top. And then this is the base of it. Oh, that's cool. It like folded up. Should be fairly simple to put together. I bet we could do this quick. Leave it up to me. They literally give you two pictures and I messed it up. This little plate is supposed to go on the bottom to stabilize it. And I put it in between, not realizing that this was the little thing that was supposed to go between. Okay. Okay, she's done. Get it, Bench. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, you're still going on the floor. You can stand, bub. <laughs> he doesn't realize that it's tall enough. Stand up here. Maybe you just like to sit and do it. You can stand. Go up here. Bailey? She's eating. Of course she's eating. <laughs> I hear you crunching over there. Benji, what the heck is that? Where'd you go? Well, take a guess. What? Our bird swooped on my car. Uh. I am grateful. I think my car's been Amani, I swear, he's got 80. I counted. You I, counted I, I, I didn't actually count. It looks like it's a design on his car. Oh my way. god. Your turn, Bailey. Get it. Scratch it. <gasps> oh, it's so good. Perfect, Mama. You're so good at this. She loves it. Of course, Bella just wants the packaging. Hey, Bella always just loves the packaging. <laughs> she does love it. She does, see? <gasps> Mamas. Go, Bailey. Go, Bailey. <laughs> Hard at work. Seriously. Look, you got a cinnamon roll. She likes those too. Look, she immediately picked it up in her mouth when I opened them. What? The bread. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize we got those. <laughs> when I opened them, she picked one up in her mouth and started walking with it. You probably thought it was real bread. Yep. Oh, is that what you wanted for your birthday? Real bread? <laughs> oh my god, look at her. Oh, 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 strong. Nice little workout right there. So I'm expecting to get fully pampered today. Oh, right, because I got fully pampered? Well, you didn't have a, a crazy due date for the next, you know, Grammy-winning song. Oh, right, right, right. No, I'm joking. But, in all seriousness, the lady told me today, she said that men typically have worse reactions. Oh, so you're going to get the man, the man cold mm -hmm. from it. Right, right, right. I'm also lying to you. That did not happen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was just joking around, but now I see that you're filming and busy. So you don't think my jokes are that funny? I know they're not no, that funny. No, I think they're funny. What? Okay, look at this thing that I got. Did you put your card up here again or no? No, it's in my purse. Why is there still tax shit over here? What is it? Uh-oh. <laughs> no, I, it's open already. That's, uh, you probably just have bad organization skills, you know? Like, oh. you put that back even though you were done using it. Oh, thanks. You just really think you're funny today, huh? I'm trying to make you laugh, you know? <laughs> okay, so this little toy, I think they're gonna love. Putting little catnip balls in here. And then an LED ball. Hello? How do you get it to work? Oh! That's supposed to attract them, attract it to them. Okay, I'll do one catnip ball on one side and then that in one side for now. Bailey? Oh, you're treating her to a piece of chicken? Is that a chicken? She does not like chicken. She told me. She's not eating it? No way. She doesn't like chicken. Give it to Bella! Give it to Bella! Oh, it's chicken. No, she doesn't like it either. Oh. Then she will- Oh! Oh! No! No, you little shit. Why are you like this? 
Why are you so quick? Go away! Oh my god, he smells the catnip. Send help. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, Benji, hold on, hold on, hold on, you psycho. Hold on. Oh, this will just stick to the... Oh my god, he's eating the paper. He's gone rogue. Oh god, stop! Stop! Look! Oh, I can stick it to the floor! Bailey, look! <laughs> look at it, guys! Look at this toy, babe. Oh. This been on its own or it's been on I'm sitting it. But one side's got a light, one side has catnip ball. Look, Benji stopped it! And then in the middle, they can like rub their face on it, you know? <laughs> oh, I should've got more of these. Toys for days, yay! Best birthday ever! Okay, mamas, your little birthday party is all set up. How cute! Got all your bread and your balloons and your potty sign. I decided to skip on the hats and the happy birthday sign. Actually, I could use this for a human, so that's good to have. Um, I just don't think that she will wear the hat at all. But I set up my little tripod and we're gonna take some pictures in front of it because it's your birthday and then we'll give you some cute yummy food. How does that sound? Amazing? I set up the tripod and I'm gonna get it so that it gets the little background in there. Hopefully I can get it to get the whole thing. <laughs> I think it'll look cute regardless. <laughs> I will say that these paw print balloons right here smell so strong. I might be high from the smell and blowing them up. I'm like, whew, smells like paint. Why are you yelling at me? Come here, mama. Oh, okay, okay. <sighs> Oh my god! You just murdered me! That hurt. You see what I did for your birthday? You don't even care? Come here, stinker. Oh my god, why do you grip so hard? You do not have to grip that hard. Chill. Calm down. Oh my god, I'm gonna have scratches all over me. <laughs> not going well. You always like to be held. Why now you don't? How about if we sit? Does that make you feel better? Seriously? Well, I was scratched up and destroyed in the process. Usually Bailey loves to be held, but of course when I wanted a cute picture, she didn't want to be held. But I got a decent pic, so you guys can head to my Instagram to check that out. She's more interested in the damn cardboard box, of course. <laughs> oh, I forgot the croissant! I just got a cute picture of her with all of the toys, but I guess I forgot the croissant. <laughs> Are you ready for your birthday dinner? Let's have a birthday dinner, boo-boo. Usually we give them dinner in their little metal bowls, but we're gonna treat Bella and Bailey because Bella likes to eat her wet food too. Benji does not eat it. I was gonna go a little crazy and like try to find a cat cake and things like that, but honestly, people were saying that their cats didn't even like them that much and like hit or miss and I know she just loves her wet food. So I'm just gonna go classic and just make it look cute on the plate. <laughs> gonna mush it down, try to make it look cute. <laughs> what if I shape it in a heart? They're on the floor waiting, they're gonna kill me. Bella, you're getting a treat too because you like wet food. So I might as well give it to both of you. Okay, got a little heart. Now we're gonna go in with some snacks. Put them around the edge, all cute. Benji, you don't even like this. Don't even play. That's adorable, come on. Okay, mommy, let's take a picture. Now we can eat. Okay, here's their little birthday dinners. Cute, right? Ready, spaghettis? You guys can eat right here, because it's a special day. Who wants to eat? You better go, Bailey. Benji just wants your snacks. Over there. Oh, see, he's not even interested. I wonder if Belle's eating all the snacks first. Are you eating all the snackies? You are, huh? You're going in a circle for the snacks. <laughs> Bailey doesn't recognize it. She's like, that's not my dinner. Why is it on a plate? Would you guys like s some bread on the side? Maybe a ciabatta roll? A little croissant? A baguette? A piece of toast? A pretzel? 
Has it been rolled? I wanted to take a minute to thank today's sponsor. We have a sponsor, everyone. It's Skillshare. You already know I love them. If you've never heard of Skillshare before, they're an online learning community. They have millions of users and thousands of classes for so many different topics and any type of skill level. They really have something for everybody, and I truly love working with them. I think they're a great website. I personally believe that you can always learn something, even if you are top tier professional. I think there's always something to learn or gather or see a new perspective. And so I think that even if you are a professional at anything, you can learn something on here. If you're a beginner, if you want a new hobby, anything above, like it's just fun to go on here and watch the videos, which is another reason why I love them so much because I'm such a visual learner. So the fact that their format is video is my favorite thing. You guys know that I'm a YouTuber. It's my job. So being able to physically watch something is like, my favorite way to learn and it's just so convenient. There's classes on so many different topics. If you want to be a graphic designer, a photographer, if you want to just learn how to journal, learn new cooking skills, like literally everything under the book, they've got it on here. Also, most classes are under 60 minutes and it's broken up into a shorter lesson. So you can fit it into any schedule, watch some one day, some the next. As you guys can already guess, my personal favorite are the cooking ones and this one that I'm starting right now, I'm very excited about because I feel like this can be so useful Full. Creative cooking, simple sauces to elevate every meal. You guys can't even lie to me. There is nothing like a good sauce on a dish. I love my sauces. This one is by Kellis. She's a chef, songwriter, designer, and an entrepreneur. Yes, girl. I'm so excited to watch this one. Down here, you've got the reviews, so you can read through these a little bit if you want to see if you'll like the class, what people thought of it. And like I said, here are the little sections. As you can see, just a few minutes each, so it's really easy to watch. Another one of the best parts, there's so many best parts, but it is curated specifically for learning meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you'll never get bored you'll always stay creative learn something new every single week take a different type of class it is less than ten dollars a month with the annual subscription so if you guys have not tried it out yet I highly recommend you do if you want to start an Etsy shop if you want to become a photographer if you want to be an entrepreneur in any sort of way if you want to work on your mental health there's literally something on here and it's so fun to watch so if you want to learn something now's your chance because the first 1,000 of my subscribers, you guys right there, if you click the link at the top of my description, you'll get a free trial of the premium membership. So go try it out, explore your creativity, learn something new, or expand what you already know. Link down below. Okay, everyone, we are about to do a major clean with us, but first we're hungry. So um, Zane is feeling okay from his shot. He's just having some Gatorade. He has a sore arm. I am not doing well at words today. For dinner, we're gonna do this Trader Joe's Baratha Brigitte and Arugula flatbread, cause just, it's amazing. And then also in the air fryer, we have, I think Zane threw out the package, yeah. I tried these yesterday, you guys. Oh my God, I had some of these and some frozen checkers fries in bed. <laughs> Zane threw it in the air fryer for me. Oh my God, these are amazing. They taste like authentic samosas that we eat at. Zane's holiday parties, they're just great. So, we have those little guys in the air fryer, they're so good, with some of this, and we're gonna clean. I just got Princess Polly, so haul coming soon. Oh, my gato, literally. You didn't want to take a picture of me before, and now you are sleeping in the photo area. How dare you? Bam, it's your birthday! <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, we're matching! Is it your birthday? Dad? Dad? You scratched the shit out of me before, girlfriend. On my vaccine arm. Oh my god, I have goosies. <laughs> what? Oh. You thought you got the wrong arm? <laughs> no, I thought you got the wrong arm. Oh, no. Say. You did the right arm. It's on my left. I'm so curious how you're gonna. F I'm gonna do a check in later. I'm so curious. Me too. And I really hope I don't get uh, any symptoms. Well, let I me see. What was the hours? Actually, I got 11. Tomorrow's a huge COD tournament. Yeah, I hope I feel like shit. <laughs> <laughs> I got mine at 11.30, so 12.30, 1.30, 2.30, 3.30, 4, 35.30. I started feeling like crap after cycling, so like six, seven hours after. Okay, so that would be for me like eight, nine o'clock roughly. Okay, yeah, we'll check in then. What time is it? It's only 6.30, boo-boo. You're getting there. I'm so curious to see what you think of these because I thought they were so good. 
I love me some samosas. Yeah, you do. They're like little. They're gonna burn your mouth though. Tell me they don't taste like super authentic. You gotta get a good bite. You're gonna be more particular about it than I am. I feel like I've literally no, eaten these stuff. before. Yeah, that's good. And the only time I've eaten samosas is with you at like family parties or something. Mm -hmm. I think the air fryer crisps them up nice too, right? They're uh, spicy too. Uh, so hot. They're hot and they're spicy. It's a nice appetizer. <laughs> yeah, it's really great. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. My dinners have been boring lately. We've been eating frozen stuff. Uh, I know HelloFresh is coming in a few days, so that's why I've been trying to wait it out. So we'll have fun stuff to make. I'm in a recipe rut. I need it. I need HelloFresh. I got some cool stuff too. What'd you get? Do you remember? I got shrimp tacos because I've never made that before. Oh, interesting. And you like shrimp and, well, sometimes if it's fried. But I've I'm never. Weird. I'm weird with shrimp. Yeah. Like cocktail shrimp, I don't like. Yeah. But I've never really been good at cooking it, so I want to, like, see if. Like, I don't like mushrooms either, but I like them in HelloFresh stuff. Mm. So I want to see. Look, this is pretty cool. I know, I do that. Huh? I do that. What? The filter? What? You think Tooth Fairy does it? What? Wow. <laughs> Are you gonna say that it tells you when to change it? Yeah. Oh, how did that get there? Who knew? <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? You put that there? Or did it come yes. with the thing? No, the label, and then you move the little watermark. It's probably way overdue. Oh, mm -hmm. Oh, well. You take this, peels off, and then you move it. That's pretty cool. Uh-huh. Never knew that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's only 12 minutes. Do we have to put it? It doesn't say put it on a sheet. We just put it in like this. We could have used the pizza stone. I just forgot. Now it's too late. This is a good pizza. This reminds me of the one I made on pizza night. I think. What would your favorite Italian cold cut? Hold be? on. Sure, 12 minutes, and that's starting now. My I, favorite Italian cold cut. Yeah, you like it that much? I I like it better than pepperoni. Mm. Which is a lot for me to say. Yeah, you love pepperoni. pepperoni. My favorite Italian meat. Like cold cut. Excluding like obviously turkey. I mean, I grew up eating thinly sliced ham. But that's not like Italian. Like you're talking like salami, prosciutto, um, pepperoni. Salami. I like pepperoni. Did we just say salami twice? I think we did. Yeah, you did. You did. I said it once. What else is there? I can't think. Soprasata. What's the one with the M? There's one with an M too. I think. The one that has like pistachios in it. Okay, starting to tidy up while our pizza's in the oven. Let's do this. Pretend I don't feel good and just, you know, get to do nothing. Just joking. Yeah, so far I'm fine. Okay. Oh, by the way, I meant to tell you, when you clean the carpet, don't get the paper towels on top of it. Because the paper towels are just going to soak in the thing. Now there's probably a solution on the bottom of them. I don't think that's a, anything to worry about, but I won't do it again. It definitely is, because you're putting it's it on top of the wet solution. That's okay, I put a paper towel and then I put that on top of the paper towel. Yeah, it soaks right through. No, nah, I disagree. But I won't do it again. It's literally a fact. Liz, put a little solution on the carpet, you put a paper towel to cover it, and then I use that to cover it. It's not... Put that one back. Oh, 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 oh. There's a little bit of discoloration uh, here. Oh, wait. Did we bet money on that one? I don't remember. Yeah, we did. I said I bet you 100 bucks that you're right. You bet you do the dishes?
Yeah, please. And the counter needs to work. Just, yeah. where do I get the supplies from? You don't even know how to clean the damn toilet. No, 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 no. Stop with this drama. I can clean the toilet, but you're very particular about what I use and what I don't use. Oh, the toilet If you cleaner. weren't here, I would just do my thing. Toilet cleaner. Use the toilet cleaner. Yeah, but I'm more talking about the rim and shit. Yes, toilet bowl cleaner. You never no, no, used no. this before? Yes, you, no, you open this, you do it around the edges, then you scrub it. I just want to go back, try to make it all undone. So it didn't have to hurt this bad. So don't say goodbye. Don't do this down. Don't go, don't go, don't go. Oh, oh. You should know why. God damn it. Oh my gosh, we just tag teamed and cleaned the whole apartment. It feels so amazing. You can tell it's clean when Benji's in the sink. <laughs> just did the dishes. Zane took out the garbage. We just made like a second dinner basically. It is 10.45 at night. But we kind of had like a small dinner. We just had like we split half of that flatbread each and had like a few of those samosas. So we decided to make a box of mac and cheese because my mom gave us 500 boxes of it. So we're like, let's make one. And then burgers. Wait, you put mine on a bun? Oh, you didn't want a bun. I don't want a bun. <laughs> All right, I'll eat it. Okay. I forgot. <laughs> um, Zane went outside and made burgers on the grill. We have some leftover coleslaw. I made it again the other night because it's that bomb. Got the candle lit. What else did we do? Bathroom is nice and clean. Cleaned the toilet. I cleaned my um, tanning brushes. Definitely just need to vacuum. Oh, Bailey's knocked. You had a good birthday, mama? <laughs> Bedroom is nice and cleaned as well. Just a few little things that need to be picked up, but we did pretty good. I'm surprising Zane with a movie. Tell me what we're watching. Ow, Benji, get down. What is it? <laughs> You're annoying me. Right? <laughs> Classic. Classic. I bet it's super funny now as an adult. I haven't watched it in years. <laughs> We don't have to watch the whole thing, but it's just to entertain us while we eat. Well, you guys, guess what? I thought we were just gonna watch it for a little bit while we were eating, but Zane and I are enjoying it so much that we brought it on the laptop in bed. So many good nostalgic moments. Seriously, like, so many things from TikTok, first of all. TikTok pulled so many things, which I knew, but it's funny to hear them in the movie again because I haven't watched it in years. But so many parts that I could literally sit here and like recite the words to. Like, I usually don't remember stuff like that, but I think this movie is just such an iconic part of like our generation's childhood that it you just remember everything. It's just so funny. And watching movies like this as an adult are so much better because... Are you okay? Sorry. You swallowed the wrong way? Yeah. Oh no. That happened to me in cycling yesterday and I was like, I hope no one can hear me coughing. I swear I don't have corona. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. I was just saying that like watching movies like this as an adult you get like more of the jokes and notice like little background things and honestly like I wouldn't even be able to tell you like if somebody was like what's the storyline of Shrek I wouldn't know I would just know that like him and Fiona fall in love and that's all I would know but now like as an adult we can like see like the storyline versus when we were a kid it kind of just like goes over your head and you're just like oh Shrek and the donkey and whatever and Puss in Boots whatever anyways so we're really enjoying it we're laughing at it and it's just very nostalgic so I never used to be the person to watch like older movies but I think I want to start doing it next is monsters inc that's another one of my favorites but i was saying like these are like universal pixar right is that what we say universal and pixar and stuff like that i don't think it's just pixar but it's universal yeah i like these movies better than disney movies like the i think um minions is this too and like uh secret life of pets that's a newer one but i love that movie too this on disney secret life of pets is disney who knows I don't know. I'm just saying I like like Shrek, Monsters Inc, stuff like that, versus like Cinderella and like my like the little my little pony, the little mermaid. Yeah. I'm losing it. Okay, you guys know what I'm trying to say. Okay. Don't Disney people don't come for me. I still like Disney stuff. I'm just saying. Okay. Well, we're gonna enjoy 
I love you guys so much. Don't forget to check out Skillshare. Linked down below. First 1,000 people to click it. Get a free trial. So go check it out. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.